what are what are the effects do you think on the children if a parent isn't doing what you're suggesting what what could potentially happen with the kids so this is where we go dark in this conversation because it's not good but uh the suicide rate is increased by 30 percent for children who are exposed to litigated divorce and high conflict divorce um, that means that your child is 30% more likely to take their life if you engage in high conflict litigation. And 83% uh, of school shootings are from child custody battles in single parent homes. Um, there's an 18% increase rate of alcohol abuse and substance abuse. Um, and the marriage rate is at the lowest recorded state of history. So lower than the Great Depression and both world wars. Currently, the children who are now aged to get married in America and has been for a few decades now are not getting married. And that rate is plummeting at a, at a, at a perfect line like this. Oh, wow. So those are yeah. the effects and they're not good. And if you, if you just, you just heard the words off my lips, you know that that's true. Like you don't even have to go do your research. You can just look around you and think about your friends and family members and the children of today and how they operate in relationships. It's very evident. I, I, I believe so. And you know, the thing about it is for me is that people have a choice, you know, they can make a conscious choice that I'm going to go about my divorce or my custody battle, you know, this way, you know, which could really damage the children, or I'm going to choose another way, which really could change the future of the children. Do you agree with that? A hundred percent. So it doesn't have to be that you change the other person into being an amazing co-parent. You just have to change yourself into being an amazing co-parent. You know, that means that you're not talking negatively about your co-parent. You're not talking to the child about anything that's going on. They're seeing that you are navigating it yourself, handling it yourself. You're not running for other people to manage your conflict for you. That's not what you want to model for them. You want them to see how to get through something that's adversarial by being yourself you're, you're being able to accommodate and to be accountable to yourself. Self accountability is probably the biggest thing that you want to teach your children because that means they can get through anything. That's uh, yep. Wonderful advice. I agree with that a thousand percent. My daughter right now is doing online school at home and my husband and I are at home and you know, it's hard because you know, I'm a type A person, but I'm really trying to keep my hands off. She's nine years old. Mm -hmm. and let her manage going to class and doing her assignments because I feel like that's teaching her the very important skill of being accountable for herself. So, but let me add, go ahead. Well, I just want to note that, you know, it is a crazy time during COVID and we are at home a lot and parents are at home a lot and this is crazy. And yes, it's not necessarily great for the kids to be away from their interactions with other people. But if we can put it in perspective for them, not like this is forever, the it's just going to be terrible forever, but Things are different. 2020 is a different year. Capsulate it. It's going to be a little bit difficult, but you know what? We're going to get there on the other side. It's not going to be like this forever. You're learning how to manage your own schedule now. You're learning how it is to interact with people from afar and let them know. If you point out what they're learning and what it is that they're doing and then identify a time that it's going to be different or just let them know that it's not, you know, they're not in sinking sand. It, that's not real. They're fine. They're going to be okay. Um, then that's what they need. You know, if it's the world's ending and everything's terrible 24 seven and you're not analyzing how it is that your family's going to maneuver through this and what they're going to look like in a year, then the children don't know how to do that either. And so just to your point on that, it is different, but so great that you're using that as a learning experience. Yeah. Thank you for that. You know, and you, and you just, um, reference back to the modeling behavior, because I think, you know, the tendency is sometimes to panic about getting COVID, getting laid off, having financial difficulty, you know, just when am I going to be able to see my mom and dad? And, you know, if the children see us panicking, um, you know, that's going to probably cause them to panic too. And panicking means that you're focusing on the negative outcome that you don't want to happen. So the best thing you can do for yourself is focus on the outcome that you do want to happen. Because if you're funneling towards that, then you're going to get there. So for instance, if you were driving your car and your plotted point was off of a cliff, you're going to go off of a cliff. If you're driving your car and your plotted point is home, you're going to go home, you know? So it's, you have to think about that. If you're just looking at this, the, the, 
line, the yellow line and the white line on either side of you, you're going to end up in the ditch. If you are focusing on going off the cliff, then away you go, just like a cartoon, you know? So I think when we think of, it's very difficult. Now, am I saying this just like, la, 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 it's so easy for you to just pick a lighted point? Yes, of course, it's not that easy, but it takes work. It takes mental fortitude, but you can do it. I believe in you. I mean, I've, uh, I've risen from the ashes from the uh, beginning, you know, and so I believe in you, I promise. <laughs> I, you know, I believe in you too. And, you know, and I love, you know, Ashley, Nicole, you speak my language, girl. I mean, totally. And I think that this is really, you know, it's about intention and people getting clear on what it is that they want in their life and not focusing, like you said, on what they don't want, getting clear on what you want.